Raspberries. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2022. Happy September! The weather today will be hot and sunny and hot. Today's lunch will be ham and cheese sub. Now it's time for the morning meeting. Happy <coughs> Thursday. I hope you have an amazing week. Today we are going to watch a very important video. We will learn about all of our drills that keep us safe. Listen carefully because you will need to know this when we practice our drills this year. Hi, I'm Corporal Halvadier, and this is my partner, Officer Blue. Hello! We're police officers from the City of Shirts, and our main job is to patrol our schools. We're here today to talk to you about some new ways to properly respond to certain critical incidents and safety protocols. Before you were taught about lockdowns and evacuations when you did fire drills. In order to keep you safe at school, there have been some changes made to your safety drills. Make sure you use your listening ears and watching eyes to help you pay attention to the new things you'll be learning in this video. These new things are very important for you to know. Your teacher will help by answering your questions you may have at the end. In this video, we're going to talk about what these four icons mean. You may have seen these symbols up around your school already. Just as you see other symbols around the community, these symbols are very important to learn and know. Right, Officer Blue? Right! Sometimes we practice lockdowns or fire drills to help keep you, other students, and school staff safe. Each one of these icons in this video stands for something you're supposed to do if something happens while you're at school involving safety. Let's start by learning what the lockout symbol means. This blue symbol with the two hands on it stands for lockout. This one's your favorite colored icon, right Officer Blue? Yes ma'am, favorite color. Why would we need to do a lockout? Sometimes a lockout's done because there's something going on outside the school or nearby that we want to make sure stays outside the building. For example, if there's a dangerous animal around the school, we want to make sure that the animal can't get into the school. Another example is when there's a fire in the neighborhood. Here's what you do during a lockout. A lockout happens when you hear your teacher tell you, lockout, secure the perimeter, lockout, secure the perimeter. You will always hear this said two times. You may also hear the same instructions over the announcement system. When you hear those words, first thing simple, get inside the building if you're outside. Your teacher will maybe help lock any doors leading outside the building. Once inside, get to your classroom quickly and quietly. Activities will continue as normal, and your teacher will still teach, and you'll continue to learn and do your work. The rules are a lockout. No one is allowed into the building, and no one is allowed out of the building. All the outside doors will be locked, but everything inside will work like normal. If the bell rings for recess and the school is still in the lockout, you won't have recess. Instead, your teacher may have you read or play a quiet game inside. If the lockout lasts until the end of the school day, you'll stay at school until your principal, vice principal, or police officer tells you it's okay to leave. Will we get to eat lunch during the lockout? You'll be able to go to lunch as usual, Officer Blue. Don't worry. If your classroom's in a portable, police officers may come and bring your class into the main building of the school. It's very important to listen to your teacher and school staff for any instructions they may give you. Now let's move to a lockdown. When you're asked to go to a lockdown, you'll hear lockdown, lock slides out of sight, lockdown, lock slides out of sight. How many times, Officer Blue? Two times. Why would we need to do a lockdown? A lockdown's used when there's something or someone inside the school building that isn't supposed to be there. What could that be, Officer Blue? A stranger or a dangerous animal. What will you do in a lockdown? Make sure you stay away from the windows so you can't be seen. You're also going to sit on the floor and get low. Your teacher will also lock the door and turn out the lights. Help your teacher out by staying quiet and calm. If you're worried or scared, you can find a friend to sit with or hold a friend's hand. Do not open the door for anybody. Your principal, vice principal, or police officer are the only ones allowed to unlock the door to your classroom. Your teacher will stay with you during the lockdown and go with you if you need to move to a different place or outside the school. Help your teacher out by staying quiet and calm. If you're outside when a lockdown is called, find the teacher or adult outside as quickly as possible. Follow their instructions on where to go calmly and quietly. What should you do if you're in the hallway when a lockdown is called? 
Get to the nearest classroom as quickly as you can and lock down or find a safe place to hide. Even if you hear a fire alarm during a lockdown, do not leave your classroom or safe space unless you're told by your teacher or an adult. Evacuation. During an evacuation, students are usually moved from one place to another. A fire drill is a type of evacuation when you evacuate out of the building. When an evacuation is needed, you'll hear the word evacuate and then the place you're supposed to go for the evacuation. You'll hear these instructions two times. When you evacuate somewhere, leave your backpack and lunchbox behind. Listen carefully for any new directions that could come from your teacher, adult helping you, or over the announcement system. Be sure to follow your teacher during the evacuation out of the building. Sometimes another adult or police officer may be the ones to lead you. No matter who your line leader is, please remember to stay quiet and calm while you walk. Your line leader will ask you to walk in a single file line while holding hands with your friend to the left and right. The fourth icon stands for shelter. Shelter is something you'll do to protect yourself from dangerous things like a tornado or severe weather. When you hear the announcement for shelter, keep listening for instructions on what to do to keep yourself safe. How many times will the instructions be repeated? Two times. The last icon we'll talk about is hold. This is used when we want to keep the hallways clear of students and people. This may be because someone is sick and an ambulance or fire truck needs to come. When you hear the words hold in your classroom, hold in your classroom over the announcement system from your teacher or an adult, you'll stay in the classroom until you hear the words all clear. If you're in the hallway when a hold is called, get to your home classroom as quickly as possible. You're safe to open the door for any student, teacher, or adult that needs to come into the classroom. Your teacher will continue to teach, and students can continue to do their normal classroom activities. We thank you for watching this video today. Thank you. Don't forget to ask your teacher any questions you may have about the information you just learned. You can also ask your principal, vice principal, and police officer your questions as well. Stay safe. This presentation was brought to you by the Search the Police Department and I Love You Guys Foundation. GPS Kids Soar Higher, Super Problem Solvers, Outstanding Writers, Accomplished Readers, Ready for Success. And now let's say our success equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Have a great day!